As promised, another Christmas ale, and this time it's St. Bernardus Christmas ale. There it is, the happy monk with a Santa hat on there, and he's got his Watu glass, is it Watu? Um, I've got my St. Bernardus glass, not the best glass for nosing, I must say, but it is a St. Bernardus glass, so it's got to be done. Right, so let's have a look. Um, so what can we say about this? Not that there's much we can say about it. It's a Christmas ale from the famous St. Bernardus uh, Brewery in Belgium. Um, <coughs> oh, voice went really high then for a second. Um, let's have a see. Um, yep, doesn't tell us much on there. It's all in Belgium. Um, I imagine it's imported, obviously. A product of Belgium at St. Bernardus Abbey. And it's got a nice uh, website address there, in case you're interested in that kind of thing. Um... 10% ABV, 330ml bottle, nice little bottle cap, let's crack it open, what's the bottle cap say on it, uh, Christmas ale, St. Bernardus, Watu, Watu, what's that, whatever, right, so here we go, let's uh, let's give it a pour, so, so giving it a pour, it's, uh, again, we're getting not a huge amount of head on it, which again, stronger beers tend not to give you a big head, but there we go, getting a bigger head than we got on the, the previous beer, I reviewed so yep yeah, I promised this Christmas ale and I thought I might as well open it today getting quite close to Christmas now why not so here we go so again not the best glass for nosing but we're gonna nose it anyway hmm. and it smells like a reg regular Belgian ale what can I say doesn't sell, smell overly Christmassy but a lot of these Belgian ales have kind of Christmas cake uh, smells to them anyway um, again, we're getting that kind of again, a bit of a marmitey smell. So getting a marmitey smell there, a bit of treacle, a bit of burnt sugar. It's, sm it's smelling very much like something else. We're getting the we're getting the sour cherry. Yeah, quite a lot. It's quite it's a bit of a sour smell. I'm thinking. Yeah, again, it's got a bit of that Abbey de Rock kind of smell. Again, really, rather than a St. Bernardus kind of smell. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say about the smell. Really, I'm not getting a huge amount of nose, but that's because it's got such a. Oh God, that, <laughs> this glass has got such a wide top that usually you can swill it around. You can get, you can concentrate all the smell in that bit, stick your nose right in, and get some more. There is a lot of smell coming out of it, but I'm not getting a lot of it because, as you can see, I get it all over my nose. If I get my nose close enough to smell it. But it does smell delightful. It's it is you know it's got that kind of lovely creaminess from the Belgian yeast in the smell there. I say we're smelling a bit of cinnamon. Yeah, we're getting some some cloves, a little bit of banana. It's smelling great. It's smelling absolutely great. So let's um, let's have it. Let's have a go. Let's have a go on it. Why not? Okay. Cheers. Yeah, so on the taste you get a lot more raisin and cherry going on there. You really are. It's um, mm. you're getting more raisin and cherry. It is tasting a bit more Christmassy. Getting a little bit of orange peel in there. It's a little bit sour on the taste, I think, compared to some of the others. Not quite as smooth as some of the others. It does taste like a bit of an interesting departure. Um, it's not as good as the regular St. Bernardus. It doesn't taste as good as the regular St. Bernardus. It's not to my taste as much as the regular St. Bernardus. Tasting quite a bit of alcohol in it, really. Not not translating to as full a mouthfeel that, as I maybe would have liked, but it's still very nice. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a bit bitter. It's quite sharp. It's not as smooth as some of the of the uh, of the like top Belgian beers. But again, they're trying to add a bit more spice to it, a bit more of those sour fruits, I think, to get it a little bit more of a Christmassy a Christmassy taste there. I'm right, loving the bottle art, by the way. The bottle art is a is an absolute high point. Um, can I get some more in there? Yeah, well, we're getting a little bit of the uh, little bit of the sediment in there. 
that's where they say to leave a little bit of the bottle in it but I always feel like I'm leaving a bit of uh, a bit of value in the bottle if I <laughs> ever leave any in the bottle I've got to drink a lot anyway um, should we give it a rating? let's give it a rating so mid quality the quality is definitely there I mean it's good it's not as good as some I don't think, but again, like you know, qual what is quality at the end of the day? It's not to my taste as much as some of the others, and they'll g I've given them like A minuses. So for that reason, I'm going to give this one a B plus. For quality, value, I think this was about four fifty. I think about four fifty towards the top end of the fours. Um, it's not as good as the Tint Meadow that I had, and it's dearer. Uh, value, I'm going to give this one a B. So there we go. But as I say, I might dispense with these ratings at one point. I don't know. If anybody's watching this, let me know whether to get rid of them or not. It'd be easier for me if I don't bother. And just talk about the beer. Just live with the beer for a bit and just tell you what I think. Anyway, that's that's it. That's the rating. That's the view. That's how it's how it's going. Time to take the thumbnail and enjoy the rest of this. Until next time, have a good one.